supply set, a new concept introduced in IEEE 1801 in 2009, provides an abstract way of bundling supply nets. It also helps improve reusability of IPs. IEEE 1801 defines two types of supply sets, explicit supply sets, supply set handles or implicit supply sets. In this video, we will talk about implicit supply sets. Implicit supply sets are created once user defines a power domain. For example, create power domain PD1 will create three supply set handles, namely PD1.primary, PD1.default isolation and PD1.default retention. Each of these supply set handles contains two functions, power and a ground. Let's take a simple example of a power intent and try to write the UPF using supply net based UPF and a supply set handles based UPF. Firstly, in the supply net based UPF, we define the power domain, all the required supply nets and supply ports, their interconnections, and we define the primary of the power domain and the isolation power net for the isolation strategy. Let's capture the same power intent using the supply set handles. Here we require only two UPF constructs, the create power domain and the set isolation without the isolation power net. Now let's compare the two UPF files side by side. If we see the supply set handles based UPF requires fewer UPF constructs. This is because if we recall, once we create the power domain, the supply set handles are being created. The PD1.primary will be used as the primary supply of the power domain and PD1.default isolation will be used as the isolation power for the isolation cells inside this power domain. Let's look at a small demo using IC compiler in order to demonstrate the automatic creation of implicit supply sets. The variable which determines the creation of implicit supply sets is UPF create implicit supply sets. The default value is true in IC compiler and design compiler. In this session the design is already loaded. Now we create a power domain with the name PD1 and then use the command report power domain which shows the supply set handle PD1.primary being created and then we define the isolation strategy and now the report power domain command will show that even the default isolation is defined. This is in sync with our explanation that the supply set handles are automatically created. In another session, we set the implicit variable to false. This needs to be set before loading the design. And on the same design, we create a power domain PD1 and show that report power domain shows that there are no implicit handles created. Thank you for watching the video.